Hi, my name is Tina. I'm here today to assist you in measuring for your new spa cover. This is Lindsay. She'll be assisting me today. First of all, we're going to go over a few things that you're going to need to measure for your spa cover. You're going to need the diagram on our website. Please print out the diagram of exactly the size of your spa or the shape of your cover. The next thing you'll need is a pen and a piece of paper in case we need any additional measurements. You'll also need a carpenter square, or we also have a corner radius measuring chart located on our website. Now you can measure from your existing spa cover if it isn't in bad condition, poor condition, or you can measure from your spa. If your spa cover you have now is in bad condition, we'll go over on how to get the measurements from your tub in just a few minutes. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obtain what your A and B measurements are. The center measurement here, we're going to go ahead and measure all the way across straight across the middle from the edge of this cover all the way to the edge it's 83 and a half inches here we're going to go ahead and we're going to check the side to make sure this is a perfectly straight sided spa because some of your spas are a little elliptical um, there's a different diagram on our website if you have one of those but I'm going to check your different measurement on this one we want to make sure it's exactly 83 and a half inches make sure we have a square side on this it is 83 and a half we want to go ahead and write down that measurement the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over this way. We're going to measure on this side of the cover, and it's exactly 78 and a half inches this direction. Then we want to go through the center again to make sure you have a perfectly straight side, 78 and a half inches. We want to go ahead and write down that measurement. Okay, now we're going to get the measurements for your skirt and your radius. You, like I said, you can use the Carpenter Square, which is located at any local hardware store. You can go on this corner right here. If you lay down the Carpenter Square on this corner, what you want to look at is you want to look at straight down the spa cover. Right before it starts to leave that cover, before it starts to curve, that's going to be your measurement there. So here we have exactly 5 inches because this part of it will be off the cover. And this one right here will be off. So all this open area is going to be your radius measurement. This spa here is 5 inches in radius. Um, if you want to use the radius diagram on our website, you can also do that. Maybe a little bit hard sometimes to see through there, but what you want to do, and you can use this and you can cut it out, is if you fold that down just to double check it, that diagram fits just exactly over that corner 5 inches. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get your skirt length. You want to make sure that you do not include the thickness of this cover. This is a 2 to 4 inch tapered cover. So you want to make sure that you do not go from here. You go from exactly where the seam is when measuring your existing cover. So you're going to go down to the exact bottom of it, which is 4 inches. The 4 inch measurement here, now you can get it up to 6, 8 inches, however you want to order it. You want to make sure it covers the acrylic on the spa here so your spa is properly insulated. You want to make sure this isn't too short or sometimes what tends to happen is it will curl up here and it will pull up and not insulate the spa. And then we're going to take that 4 inch measurement. We're going to go to the diagram on the website. Your longest dimension is always going to be your B dimension as you can see in the diagram. Our B dimension was 83.5 inches. The A dimension is the shortest number which was 77.5 inches. Your radius on this was 5 inches, that's going to be your C measurement, and then your skirt length is 4 inches. The next thing we're going to do today is we want to determine which fold direction we want for the spa that we're using. You want to see where your keypad is located on your existing spa. The keypad on this one is located directly in the center. Make sure your spa cover folds directly behind it. This is so you can access it easily for maintenance. So our fold direction on this spa today is going to be our B measurement, which is exactly parallel to our long side and our keypad. And so the fold direction we'll want today is fold 2. Okay, now we're going to show you how to get your spa cover measurements by measuring just your spa. That way if your old cover's in bad shape or it didn't fit, we can get the correct measurements for the new one by doing this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the measuring tape, we're going to walk down to one end, now you want to make sure the edges of your spa cover are perfectly straight. If not, you're going to need to allow for the lip of that cover to come out. So you may want to add an inch overall. The cover here is going to be 82 inches on this side for our new one. We're going to check to make sure again that our side is perfectly even, 82 inches. Now we're going to get our other side. So we have 
76 inches. I'm going to check this side one more time just to make sure. 76 inches, so this is a straight, a straight edge. Now you want to make sure that you probably do add a one inch overall to your dimensions. That allows you for a half inch error all the way around your spa. Now this is not going to affect the way your new spa cover fits. The last thing we need to do here is we need to get your radius measurement. Your radius measurement on this spa is five inches. Now five inches, if this were five and a half inches with radius as you go down in number, the corner actually gets larger because you get closer to a square. So on this one here, if it were five and a half inches, we want to make sure we get a five so we allow for that overage. Okay, if you have a spa with bevel corners, such as this spa that we're showing here, you want to make sure that when you do your measurements for your new cover, if you're measuring the spa itself, that you go out to the furthest point. So you want to make sure that you add one inch here. Make sure you can use your carpenter square, use a flat surface, anything to get this measurement. But you want to make sure that you go out, you have exactly one inch there. So that one inch will allow your cover to hang correctly and allow your skirt to hang straight up and down rather than curl up and you lose the efficiency of the new cover you just purchased. Okay, the next thing we're going to discuss are the four different covers that we carry to decide which one is best for you and your spa's needs. Our starter cover is our classic cover. The classic cover is two inches on the end and exactly four inches in the middle. This taper here allows for rain to roll off if you keep your spa in an outdoor area. The next cover up is our premium classic cover. Now this is a better insulated cover, so it's going to be three inches on the edges and exactly five inches in the center, so you still have your taper in there. Now our Ultima Classic cover is four inches on the edges and exactly six inches in the middle here. Now this cover has its highest R value. You can also add a two pound density foam. We'll go into that in a little bit. The last cover we're going to discuss today is our walk-on cover. Now you may be very interested in our walk-on cover if you have small children, pets, you live in the great outdoors. This cover will hold up to 200 pounds on the top of it, so it's very, very durable. The walk-on cover has a fiberglass inside insert all the way throughout here, all the way through the middle, so that will withstand the weight up to 200 pounds. It's two inches on the edges and exactly four inches in the center. Next today we're going to discuss the upgrades that we offer for your spa cover. If you live in an area with very, very cold climates, you may want to upgrade to our two pound density foam which adds a much higher R rating. Now if you chose the classic cover but you're limited on space with your thickness because you use what's called a cover lift to store the cover behind the spa, then you can also just upgrade your classic cover to the two pound density foam up in the R rating. Another option that we offer is the insulated hinge which is located directly in the center this allows steam from your hot tub to keep from escaping to provide you and your spa the best efficiency. You lose a lot of heat through here, so we highly, highly recommend this upgrade. The next option that we're going to discuss today is the vapor seal barrier. Now your vapor seal barrier, what comes standard with all of our covers is a two mil material which is located inside your spa cover. The vapor seal barrier is chemically resistant. It is four mil thick, so what this does is it prevents your spa cover from deteriorating from accidental overusage of chemicals. This concludes our cover video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call one of our customer service agents anytime. And thank you again for shopping with us.